Our story begins roughly four and a half billion years ago. Imagine a vast swirling cloud of dust and gas, the remnants of a supernova, a star's spectacular death throes. Within this chaotic cloud, gravity acted as a sculptor, drawing particles together. Dust grains collided and stuck, gradually accumulating into larger clumps. Over eons this process continued, the clumps growing larger, their gravitational pull intensifying. The proto-Earth, a swirling mass of rock and ice began to take shape. The energy from these collisions rendered the young Earth a molten inferno. This period known as the Hadean Eon, was a time of intense heat, volcanic activity and constant bombardment from asteroids and comets. Yet within this maelstrom, the seeds of our planet's future were being sown. The relentless bombardment delivered water and other volatile compounds to the Earth's surface, essential for the emergence of life. As the early Earth cooled, a crust formed, setting the stage for the next act in Earth's epic story, the genesis of life itself. As the early Earth cooled, a remarkable transformation occurred. The molten rock began to differentiate, the heavier elements like iron and nickel sinking towards the center. This led to the formation of Earth's layered structure, a solid inner core, a liquid outer core, and the mantle. Above the mantle, the Earth's crust solidified, forming the first solid landmasses. These primordial continents were constantly shifting due to intense geological activity. Volcanoes, spewing lava and gases, shaped the atmosphere and influenced the planet's temperature. The stage was set for the emergence of life itself. The precise details of how life emerged remain a subject of ongoing scientific inquiry. Scientists from various disciplines are tirelessly working to unravel this profound mystery, delving into the depths of our planet's history. However, we have pieced together a compelling narrative based on evidence from geology, chemistry, and biology. This interdisciplinary approach has allowed us to form a more comprehensive understanding of the origins of life. Life likely arose in volcanic hydrothermal vents, fissures in the Earth's crust spewing hot mineral-rich water into the oceans. These environments were rich in the essential elements and compounds necessary for life. These vents provided the necessary building blocks and energy sources for life to begin. The extreme conditions, once thought to be inhospitable, actually fostered the birth of life. Simple organic molecules formed spontaneously in the early Earth's environment. These molecules, such as amino acids and nucleotides, are the fundamental components of life. These molecules assembled into more intricate structures, eventually forming self-replicating molecules, the precursors to DNA and RNA. This process marked a significant milestone in the journey from chemistry to biology. These self-replicating molecules enclosed within primitive membranes gave rise to the first cells. These early cells were the ancestors of all life forms we see today. These early cells, simple prokaryotes, were anaerobic, meaning they didn't require oxygen to survive. They thrived in the harsh conditions of the ocean depths where oxygen was scarce. They drew energy from the chemical-rich fluids emanating from hydrothermal vents. This unique adaptation allowed them to survive and proliferate in an environment that would be hostile to most modern life forms. From these humble beginnings, life embarked on an incredible journey of evolution and diversification. Over billions of years, life forms evolved, adapting to new environments and challenges. The story of life on Earth is a testament to the power of evolution, the relentless drive of life to adapt, survive, and thrive. This journey from simple molecules to complex organisms highlights the resilience and ingenuity of life. For billions of years life on Earth was confined to the oceans, existing as single-celled organisms. These organisms were incredibly diverse in their metabolic pathways, utilizing a wide array of energy sources. Then, around two and a half billion years ago, a revolution occurred, the evolution of photosynthesis. Cyanobacteria developed the ability to use sunlight to convert carbon dioxide and water into sugar, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. As these photosynthetic organisms flourished, they released increasing amounts of oxygen into the atmosphere. This great oxidation event transformed Earth's atmosphere into the oxygen-rich air we breathe today. The rise of oxygen led to the formation of the ozone layer which shielded the Earth's surface from harmful ultraviolet radiation. This protection allowed life to emerge from the oceans and colonize the land. The stage was set for the evolution of more complex life forms, multicellular organisms that would eventually give rise to the incredible biodiversity we see on Earth today. When life exploded, the Cambrian Explosion Around 540 million years ago, life on Earth underwent a dramatic transformation. In a period known as the Cambrian Explosion, an unprecedented burst of evolutionary innovation occurred. New body plans evolved leading to an astonishing diversity of life forms. Creatures with hard shells, exoskeletons and complex sensory organs emerged. This period saw the emergence of most of the major animal phyla that exist today. 
From trilobites to bizarre hallucinogenia, the Cambrian oceans were teeming with strange and wonderful creatures. The emergence of plants on land during this time transformed barren landscapes into verdant ecosystems. The Cambrian explosion marked a turning point from a world dominated by simple, single-celled organisms to a world teeming with complex, multicellular life. A Planet of Giants, The Age of Dinosaurs Following the Cambrian explosion, life on Earth continued to evolve and diversify. The Paleozoic era witnessed the rise of fish, amphibians and reptiles, culminating in the Permian period. This period ended with the largest mass extinction event in Earth's history, paving the way for the dinosaurs. The Mesozoic era, spanning from 250 to 66 million years ago, is often referred to as the Age of Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs diversified into a spectacular array of forms from massive sauropods to fearsome predators. The breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea led to the isolation of populations, driving further evolution and diversification. The Age of Dinosaurs was a time of incredible success for these reptilian rulers. Cataclysm and Renewal, The Dance of Extinction The history of life on Earth is a cyclical dance of extinction and renewal. Earth has witnessed five major extinction events, periods when a significant portion of life vanished. One such event, the Chicxulub impact, brought the reign of the dinosaurs to an abrupt end. Around 66 million years ago, a massive asteroid collided with Earth near the Yucatan Peninsula. The impact released an unimaginable amount of energy, equivalent to billions of atomic bombs. The immediate effects were catastrophic, with earthquakes, tsunamis, and wildfires ravaging the planet. The Earth plunged into a period of darkness and cold, causing temperatures to plummet. The dinosaurs, along with approximately 76% of all plant and animal species, perished. The Chicxulub impact marked the end of the Cretaceous period and ushered in the Cenozoic era. In the wake of the Chicxulub impact, a new era dawned on Earth. The Cenozoic era, spanning from 66 million years ago to the present day, is often referred to as the Age of Mammals. With their reptilian competitors out of the picture, mammals experienced a remarkable adaptive radiation. The early Cenozoic saw the rise of small, shrew-like mammals that had survived the extinction event. These survivors quickly diversified, taking advantage of the newly available resources and habitats. Over millions of years, mammals evolved into a wide range of forms, from massive herbivores to agile predators. The Cenozoic era was a time of significant climatic and geological change. The Cenozoic era was also a time of dramatic climate fluctuations. Over the past few million years, Earth has experienced a series of ice ages, interspersed with warmer interglacial periods. These glacial-interglacial cycles have profoundly impacted the evolution of life on Earth. During glacial periods, vast ice sheets extended from the poles towards the equator, covering large swaths of land. These ice sheets locked up massive amounts of water, lowering sea levels and exposing land bridges. Interglacial periods, like the one we are currently in, are characterized by warmer temperatures, melting glaciers, and rising sea levels. These climate fluctuations have played a significant role in shaping the diversity of life we see on Earth today. As the Cenozoic era progressed, a remarkable lineage of primates, the hominins, emerged in Africa. These early humans possessed a unique combination of traits, including bipedalism, larger brains, and the ability to make and use tools. The genus Homo, to which our species belongs, emerged around 2.8 million years ago. Homo erectus, one of our early ancestors, was the first hominin to migrate out of Africa. The emergence of Homo sapiens in Africa, around 300,000 years ago, marked a turning point in Earth's history. Homo sapiens exhibited complex cognitive abilities, including language, abstract thought, and the ability to plan for the future. These abilities allowed us to adapt to a wide range of environments, develop complex societies, and ultimately become the dominant species on Earth. From its fiery birth to its transformation into a vibrant planet teeming with life, Earth's journey has been extraordinary. It is a story of cosmic collisions, volcanic upheavals, dramatic climate swings, and the relentless drive of life to adapt and thrive. We've witnessed the emergence of life in primordial oceans, the Great Oxidation Event, the Cambrian Explosion, the reign and demise of the dinosaurs, the rise of mammals, and the dawn of humanity. Each chapter in Earth's story is a testament to the power of time, chance, and the interconnectedness of all living things. As we stand at the precipice of an uncertain future, it is imperative that we reflect on the lessons of Earth's past. Our planet has witnessed periods of remarkable stability and dramatic change, the rise and fall of countless species. By understanding our planet's past and embracing a future guided by science and sustainability, we can help ensure that Earth's epic journey continues for billions of years to come.